This is where I bring in new plants and put them down. They're underneath the C5 lights and they get a ton of light underneath here. But every once in a while some snails still sneak into the aquariums. Like here is my cherry shrimp. Oh, here's a tip. Do not put cherry shrimps in an aquarium with like a fluorite red bottom. Because you can't see them. Alright, I'm getting another. I'm getting a sand tank ready for them right now. There's a couple snails stuck in here. So I pulled them out and we're going to try one of the methods to eliminate them. I'm going to move these red cherry shrimp over here to one of these it's over here to one of these sand tanks so anyways I caught a couple snails oh here's the uh, test tube thing I made anyways and we're going to try this aluminum sulfate so let's go ahead and move to the kitchen but first here's a great article on that pet place that fish place on dealing with snails on your plants I'd recommend reading this. Uh, you have a couple options. We have aquarium salt, not table salt, aquarium salt, like um, kosher salt, aquarium salt, alum, which is aluminum sulfate. You can buy this alum in a grocery store in the spice rack. I'm going to show you. I just went there and filmed uh, a short clip. Bleach. Bleach will definitely kill them. But there's a good chance it's going to kill your plants also. And then something called potassium pomegranate. I don't know. I, I didn't say that right, but what the heck is that? Anyway, I can't find any of this. So we are going to use aluminum sulfate out of this choice. I mean, I have plenty of bleach. I wanted to try this met method here. So here's a video I shot at the grocery store um, comparing the price. Two ounces and the ingredient. Used for making pickles. So you can find aluminum sulfate in your spice row at the grocery store. It's called alum. Is that how you pronounce it? A L U M. But you know what? It was five and six dollars for about two ounces. Or you can go to a garden store, find the same exact stuff. Four pounds for ten dollars. So this is what we're going to use. And we need a, what I find is you need one gallon of water with about three tablespoons of the aluminum sulfate. So, we'll have a one gallon jug and a small bucket. This is warm water. But I wanted to measure out one gallon pretty much exactly. And this bucket doesn't have line on it. So what I'll do is I'd get a, a Sharpie marker and draw a line here. So in the future I'd know where one gallon is. So that's my one gallon mark. Now we need three tablespoons of the aluminum sulfate. So this looks like a tablespoon. Should it be heaping? I don't know. All right, and we gotta stir this up. And after we stir it up, I'm actually gonna soak my plants overnight. We're gonna soak the java moss. That's where uh, some of these snails come from. I also have uh, that cup that has those snails I pulled out. 
we're gonna replace their water with this water and see if this really does kill little uh, pond snails. So I'll be right back. All right, these are all live snails. And now, their, their water is replaced with the aluminum sulfate water. And let's see what happens in the morning. See, see if they survive. All right, so I actually pulled out a patch of java moss and some java fern. We're gonna soak in here. And see what happens. Do have um, stats and snail. Grab this guy. You guys are familiar with with uh, assassin snail here. That's going in this tank. And I got one for the plant tank over there too. I don't know, you know, salespeople don't really know much about assassin snails. They're like, don't put them in with the narrate snails. And you know, can't put two of these in the same tank because they'll kill each other. Really? I've never heard that before. So post your comments below if you've ever heard that before. Let's put them right here. Looks like a good place for him to start his life in this cherry shrimp tank. And we'll continue this video tomorrow. Here's a quick 30 minute update. These guys have been in there for 30 minutes. They seem to be possibly dead. There's my spin test that they didn't, they're not holding on to anything. All right, so guys are still soaking. Uh, this one's trying to get out. All right, we're gonna check back in the morning. Also, we'll know if these guys moved, crawled out of the middle. Then we know they're not dead. Been overnight, you see the snails haven't moved. So I'm saying those are dead snails. So next we're gonna rinse off these plants that have been soaking overnight into some fresh water with, uh, I, I use Prime. Prime, you can find this anywhere, you know, one cap full for 50 gallons of water. So with, we sell one cap's five ml, so I can pick these off eBay for super cheap. These little, does this just go like two mls for two gallons because you want to use more than it recommends all right so let's put in another gallon of water there is two gallons of water Got the java fern. That water got pretty cold. We're gonna rinse these off and then put them in a um, a new uh, plant. Put them in a new plant aquarium I started. So thanks for watching. Post comments, suggestions below. We'll see how this goes. Was that long enough to kill any eggs? Or not. Did you just use assassin snails? Just uh, post your comments below. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe for my weekly videos.